Hello learners. In the previous four videos, I have solved numerical on vectors. In each video, I have solved two numericals. In this fifth video, which is the last video over the um, problems on vector, uh, we'll solve a numerical on a new topic, which is projection of a vector. I have not explained this topic in any of my videos. That is why I'll first explain this topic, and then we'll go and do some numericals. Okay, so. Let us understand what is projection. Projection of one vector over another is possible only because two vectors are having some acute angle between them. If this theta, this is a vector A and this is another vector B. If A and B did not have a, an acute angle, if they had something 90 degree between them, so this A and this B will be called orthogonal vectors and in physics, in vector physics or in electromagnetic theory, two orthogonal vector quantities never contribute towards each other. They won't increase each other's magnitude and they are not projected over each other as well because if you simply if you t take an analogy of the shadow, if uh, let's say a sun is over just like 12 o'clock, it is just over the head. So whenever something is straight, its shadow, if if the sun is just over the head of this vector A, no shadow will come on A, right? And if the A is a little bit tilted, this if the sun is over here, you will get a shadow on B, right? Shadow of A on B. So that is how the projection works. And there are two types of projection. One is scalar projection and one is vector projection. So the scalar projection says that if you multiply the vector A, with the unit vector of B. Unit vector of B signifies the direction of B. So A is going towards the direction of B. That is what is doing we are doing here, right? So uh, dot multiplication is simple. We first multiply the magnitude of the first vector and the magnitude of the second vector. So second vector because it is a unit vector, its magnitude will be 1. So there is nothing written here. And we are left with cos theta only because in the formula for dot product, we have a cos theta as well. So this is a cos theta. And this is called as vector projection that we did here. Sorry, scalar projection that we did here. The vector projection will be if we multiply the result of this scalar projection or if we multiply the scalar projection with this B's unit vector again, you will get vector projection. It is that simple. So. If you want to remember it in a simpler way, never remember the vector projection directly. First, you understand and remember the scalar projection and the step that you do in scalar projection, if you do it twice, you will get vector projection. What I meant to say is, when you multiply this vector A with this unit vector of B, you will get scalar quantity. So remember that this is scalar projection. And if you multiply this complete quantity with again the direction of B, this complete quantity will be known as vector projection. So don't no need to remember any formula that you see in books or anywhere. This is the best way to remember scalar and vector projection because it is a simple concept. Never try to understand with it with difficult formula. So that is my advice to you. So now that we have seen the formula, we have understood what is projection. Let us now do some numerical. This is the first numerical that we are going to do about projection. So the first question is asking us to find out the scalar projection of A over B. So we are provided with vector A, also with vector B. So let us now again recall that what we have understood that let's see there is a vector A and there is a vector B and they have some angle between them. Actually, while doing vector uh, component mathematics, we don't need an angle, but angle will help, uh, help us understand things. So, A is projected over B. If you want to A to project over B, you have to draw, drop a perpendicular directly from A to B. And this length will be known as A and subscript B and it is known as scalar projection. That is what we are going to find out here. So to find out uh, uh, scalar projection, first we need to find out the 
direction of b direction of b can be found very easily we have the vector divided with its magnitude under root of 2 square plus 3 square and you will get 2ax plus 3ay divided by I have found out the under root it would be 3.162 and it can be written as 0 0.633 ax plus 0 0.949 a y will use this how will use this we will multiply the vector a with the direction of b yes and this will be called as scalar projection and because it is scalar we let us enclose it with pipeline symbol and uh, what is a a is 4 a y plus 10 a z dot multiplied with this 0 0.633 ax plus 0 0.949 ay yes and the answer would be would be this see because we are dot multiplying so only ay component and this ay component their coefficients will be multiplied and nothing else will be done. So, 4 into 0 0.949 would be 3.795 and that is our answer. That is our answer and nothing else to be done. Remember that whenever you are finding out scalar projection, never put a direction because there should not be a direction there. Its name itself is scalar, right? So, that is how. Let us do another numerical. This numerical is same only difference is that this time we have to find out vector projection also this time we have b projected over a mind the statement what it's saying it is saying that find out the vector projection of b on a right so b let us write b like this with a tilted arrow and a with a straight arrow and b is projected over a so, when we drop a perpendicular from B to A, we will get this smaller line over A and this direction, along with this direction, this arrow will be called as vector projection of, sorry, vector projection of B over A, like this. And never forget to put an arrow because it is a vector. So, let's solve this. Uh, as we know that we want the direction of A, right? So the direction of A would be unit vector of A. To find out the unit vector of A, let's do this. The vector A divided by the magnitude of this. The magnitude of this vector would be 10. So the answer would be here 1 under root, 1 by under root. 2 ax plus ay and uh, now we can start finding out the projection because uh, first we find out the scalar projection always so let's write b subscript a in pipeline so we'll multiply the vector b with this direction a so b has 3 ay plus a z dot multiplying it with ax plus ay divided by under root 2 and what we'll get we'll get only 3 by under root 2 because it's a dot multiplication and to find out the vector projection we'll multiply scalar projection again with this direction of a so scalar projection is 3 by under root 2 just we have written above and uh, direction of a is 1 by under root 2 ax plus 1 by under root 2 ay and uh, if you multiply this under root 2 inside in the denominator you will get 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 ax plus 
ay so this is scalar projection and this is vector projection and our answer question asked us to find out the vector projection so the last one is our answer that's it that is all with, with this video uh, i have completed five videos with two in two numerical in each one of them and they were all about vectors i'll recommend you to see all of them there are four videos before this video they are all named as numerical on vectors part 1 part 2 and so on in my next video i'll be explaining coordinate geometry in electromagnetic theory coordinate geometry does not only have a rectangular coordinate system as 3d coordinate system we have two more coordinate system that is cylindrical and spherical coordinate system and they are very very much necessary in future subjects so uh, my next videos next few videos will be about uh, coordinate system so we'll see you there thank you